Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have another die cast video. Now this week there were six new releases, so there won't be any sort of extra thing. There won't be a 124 for this video. There won't be any extra 164s because, as I mentioned before, kind of my my limit for adding extra stuff in is five. You know, if there's more than five cars, I'll just you know the video gets too long. So we'll um. We'll go with these ones. And um, as you can see, we have some pretty good ones here. Let's start from the front left. Um, some of these, the boxes, or at least two of these, I already opened just to check them out because the box here is a little eh, and the box there is a little eh. Well, that's me. That wasn't Lionel. I will show you what Lionel did to some of these cars later, though, <laughs> um, especially the, this one. But anyway. This is a NASCAR classic release. This is Jimmy Johnson's, oh, wrong side. This is Jimmy Johnson's Lowe's Power of Pride first start. It even says first career start, 2001 Monte Carlo. And there you go. It's a pretty famous car by now. But we'll take a look at that. Next, we have one that's kind of in a custom box, which is great. You know, we don't usually get custom boxes for regular releases we did have this where is it there it is this one earlier this year with the dale jr throwback car but that was pretty much it this one is for just probably the most random car <laughs> of the year because it's ed pompa which if you don't know he's in the arca series and he kind of runs mid-pack doesn't have the best equipment so it's really surprising that he got a die cast made. I'm thinking it has something to do with just the fact, you know, Clemson fans got this offered and made. <laughs> because even though it got offered, I'm really surprised that it made, you know, the minimum requirements to get made. So apparently it got a bunch of pre-orders for a mid-pack ARCA car. So that's cool. Um, I do like this. So anyway, the box... Because it's custom, we'll go over a little bit. You have Clemson, then Ed Pompa, number one. Clemson Tiger logo on this side. On this side, 2018 National Champions, Clemson Tigers. And then it's the same thing on this side. And then on this side, the sticker's covering it. But behind that, you can see the Action Race and Collectibles logo. And you can see in the background, is it like this on any other side? On this side, it is. So... Uh, the background is kind of like this dark orange fading into white from left to right. And you have the Clemson Tiger paw prints in the background. That's cool. Down the top you have Arca Menard series as well. So now this one is Chase Elliott's Dew Knighted Mountain Dew car. Uh, I don't know where this ran. Or I don't remember rather. So that's that. <laughs> Next. We have Ryan Blaney's Dent Wizard car. This is the paint scheme he won with Talladega in a few weeks ago. Obviously not the raced version of Talladega. It's just based off of the paint scheme in general because he's ran it in the past too. But that's that. Next we have Paul Menard's Darlington throwback Motorcraft car. And you can see Glenn Wood down there above the number. That's where the names used to be on the cars. I think that's a really nice throwback to Glenn Wood. We'll obviously take a look at that. And finally, we have Michael next Michael Annette's Xfinity Series Baby Ruth Darlington throwback. And it's cool that they got this sponsor back for this one race. It's always nice when just sponsors that haven't been in the sport for years just come back for a one-off throwback. So, anyway... Uh, without further ado, let's get all six of these opened. Okay, so here they are all unpackaged. Let's start the same way that we did when they're in the boxes. Start with Jimmy Johnson's 2001 Power of Pride first career start. And as I said, this is a pretty famous car by now, especially after his throwback last year. So it's cool to have this in a classic and it even does say on the bottom, 2001 Monte Carlo. So they did use an old mold. Whether or not it's like actually an old mold that has been sitting around for years or not, I don't know. But anyway, 
onto the paint scheme. It, the base of the car is blue. And then it's mostly blue, basically. And then back here, right along the back window, starts a decal of a backwards American flag on this side. On this side, it would be right side. Um, then you see the, the American flag start there and wrap its way around to the quarter panel and does that on both sides. And as I said, the rest of the car is just blue, but still a really good looking car. The numbers are red with the blue and white outlines. For the sponsors, you have Lowe's on the hood, Power of Pride, Lowe's, Quaker State, Haas, some Delphi, other stuff, Hendrick. Um, those, those little stickers near the number actually seem important. I'm going to take them in to actually see what those say. Okay, so never mind. They're actually just more sponsors. I did see on the Hendrick thing, it, I did see it was a special Hendrick, but looking closer, it has the number 100 on it. I don't know what that means. Because clearly not 100 years old. Um, 100 wins? I don't know. I don't know how many wins Hendrick has as a team. But anyway. Uh, Rookie Stripes, Power of Pride, Lowe's.com. On Decklid, have American Firefighters, Heroes All, USA, PA, DC, USA. Yeah, you got it. And this is before anything was ever put on the roof. So there you go. Next, we have Arca. So I'm just going to point out... <laughs> I'm gonna, first off, I am keeping this, you know, overall looking at it on a shelf, it still looks good, but, uh, what the hell, Lionel, what is this? And you can feel it too, it's not like it's flat on there, like you can tell, the paint scheme was right, but then there's just some random purple paint added on, uh, for no reason, just a line of purple paint, that's awesome, plus we have this chip on the spoiler too. Somewhere, I thought we did. Unless I just saw the General Tire logo. Okay, so never mind. I might have just saw the General Tire logo. But anyway, uh, also, spoiler is wrong. It's They just used it on like the mold that they were using the last couple years. Because I assume they had extra. So they're just like, let's throw an Arca car on it. So you end up with the small spoiler. It just looks weird. With the Menards on the front and the General Tire on the back. And you can tell... The yellow of the Menards, because of how small the spoiler is, it's bleeding onto the actual deck lid. Now, this is what it's supposed to look like. This is a release from last year. That's what it, well, kind of. You can see the Menards logos are not completely center. But, you know, spoiler-wise, that's what it's supposed to look like. So. Whatever. Um, paint scheme. You have the white hood, and you have orange, kind of, I don't know where it starts, but it it's from the front windows, basically, and it wraps all the way around the front of the car, and then back to those front windows, kind of fades out with the uh, Clemson Tiger paw prints into white, and then everything else on the back is white. The roof and the deck lid and all the posts and stuff are purple. So all the numbers are, all the numbers, right? Maybe a little different. Side numbers are orange with white and purple outlines. The roof is orange with white and black outline. As for sponsors, Clemson, what does that say? Does that say something about the national championship? 2018 national football champions. Yay. I should probably really read these beforehand, so I'm not trying to read small print through a phone that won't focus. Uh, we have Bex, Burt Crane, Mulch and Soil, uh, Pampa, Pampa Bros, Inc. They're actually uh, from New Jersey, it looks like, looking at this car. Um... As, as was, I didn't even point out that the National Champions logo is right there on both sides. Arkham Menard's logo, well, that's kind of what it's supposed to look like. It's really cut off there. Uh, that's a better angle of it right there. But anyway, all these on this post, I did pause and try to look at it 
they're all unrecognizable sponsors because obviously, like I said, it is a low budget ARCA team. So I don't know what those say. This is Crusher Milwaukee Company right here on the C post and Frontline Racing, which might be the team. I don't actually know. <laughs> on the back, a serious fun camp. Some lake in New York. Actually, you know what? It was New York, not New Jersey. I apologize. Because <laughs> I remember looking this up now, too. Yeah, that that was actually New York. I just read it as New Jersey. My bad. Uh, National Champions logo on the deck lid and Clemson University on the roof. Let's move on to Chase Elliott's Do Knighted. Really nice paint scheme. You see there's a, already a win sticker there. So, obviously, he had a win at the time already of this running so with the paint scheme this is it doesn't have the same glitter that literally every other chase car has had these last two years so it is unique in that way the base of the car is green you have these decals I, it's hard to describe as you can see just a lot of crap going on a bunch of green people doing all sorts of stuff riding bikes I can't describe what most of this is. <laughs> Some guy has a backpack over here. But there's just a lot of stuff going on. And then as you get more toward the back, it gets even more cluttered. Looks like there's like a forest going on. Maybe. I don't I don't really know. It's it's strange to say the least. <laughs> anyway, it's like that on both sides. And you have a dark green back, which is different than the base green. And on the roof, you have, oh, by the way, that force kind of, well, not the force part, but the dark green is also on the deck lid. Um, and over the hood, onto the roof, and off the deck lid, you have the Mountain Dew standard black stripes. And there is a little bit of that design that I was talking about on the hood as well, in the shape of America, as you can see. So, there you go. Numbers on the side are black with green and white and black outline on the roof. We have that metallic silver with the black and silver outline. So I don't know if you guys can see this or not on the interior. I was just noticing it because it's in the light. I'm sure this has been on many 164 cars before, but there is a little bit of detail. Yes, I know those plastic radios have always been there, but on the floor of the car, there's like this weird wire going through. I just never noticed that before. It's just me. I've never noticed that. It's weird. Anyway. Sponsors. We have Mountain Dew. Dew SA. Or not Dew SA. Dew Knighted on the hood. We have Dew Knighted Stars on the quarter panel over here. Hooters. Napa. Valvoline. Kelly Blue Book. Have the wind sticker again. Exalta Freightliner. Hooters. Mac Tool. Siemens. Mountain Dew, Valvoline, Camaro Z01, uh, Napa Auto Parts on the deck lid, and Mountain Dew on the roof. And there you go. Next, we have, we're halfway done. Um, we have Ryan Blaney's 2019 Dent Wizard. And this is, I, I don't understand how they choose what spoilers, because this is the right spoiler. Kind of. It, it's not the right spoiler, but it's a better spoiler than these two actually i no because that's not right either yeah both these spoilers are wrong even in 2019 cup series they still were using the small spoiler for no reason and these came out the same exact time all of these are new releases anyway the this is one of the scalloped car paint schemes again uh the mace the base color is white and then the blue Starts in front and wraps around on both sides into that scallop. And the side skirts are all blue all the way around. The numbers are all blue with the black outline. Sponsors, Dent Wizard Smart Repairs, Pens Oil. Dent Wizard Smart Repairs, Menards, Ford. I don't know what that is. I've seen it elsewhere. I just still don't know what it is. PPG, Mazak. Uh, Dex Imaging, Dent Wizard, 
dent wizard with a different logo on the dent on the deck lid here with an actual wizard and nothing on the roof. Notice how much easier this was to focus on a mostly white car than it was, say, the two knighted car. United car was a nightmare to try to focus if you couldn't know if you didn't notice. Uh, so anyway, Paul Menard's 2019 Darlington throwback to Glenn Wood. We have the base color black, and that black pretty much just goes all over the roof. Um, starts up here in the front, goes all the way back to the deck lid, and on the sides we have mostly red. See the red. Wrapping all the way around. There's a little bit of a design. Some of the black coming down on the side. And that red and black is outlined in the middle with this silver. And a little bit of a gold stripe right there too. But as I said, it's mostly red. And then you have red on the back. And you have red red uh, rims as well. By the way, uh, Ryan Blaney had white rims. Thought I should point that out while I was mentioning that. <laughs> Um, all the numbers are white with the black outline. And of course you have all the throwback stuff. This was 90s. So you have the 90s tires, Goodyear number one, Eagle. And then you have the old NASCAR race car up there with a red paint blotch in the background. And on the B post here you also have some scratching um, that you can see white over the Ford logo. Anyway, sponsors, Ford Motorcraft on both sides, you know, the way that it would, I forget what it was, but they would always have numbers on the sides. Um, then you have, as I mentioned before, you have Glenn Wood right above the number on both sides. It's a nice touch. Um, Menards, Quick Lane, Tire and Auto Center. Ford Motocraft, Omnicraft, ARP, Lincoln Welder, Safety Clean, Ford, I, I don't know what that middle one is. It looks like a memorial sort of thing, kind of. Uh, Wood Brothers on the bottom. And actually, there's a different one on this side. And I still couldn't figure out what it was. Um, but anyway, on to the back. FordParts.com, Declid, Wood Brothers 21, and Ford Motocraft on the roof. Final one of the day. We have Michael Annette's Xfinity Series number one Baby Ruth car. It is basically all white with stripe that starts here right around the, the Moog contingency sponsor. And it's a red stripe outlined by a white stripe, and that is outlined by a blue stripe. And they all start, as I said, up there. They go all the way to the back and end before the end of quarter panel. <laughs> right there. And I, I was going to say there's a black skirt down there. But that's just the way the, all Camaros are. And that's pretty much it for the paint scheme. Um, if you don't know, this is based off of Jeff Gordon's, um, at the time, Bush series, Baby Ruth car. Do I have that? I don't... I know I have an old 67 car. But I think... Uh, I don't even have it out anymore, I don't think. I think that was an Outback Steakhouse car, anyway. Anyway, all the numbers are red with the white and blue outlines. We have Nestle Baby Ruth Bar on the hood. Nestle Baby Ruth Bar. All state parts and service. It's cool that some of the random sponsors he had when he was with low teams in the Cup Series sticked with him. Like Allstate, because not the Allstate, but because um, that was, um, there's a promo car for that, I think, in the Cup Series. Pilot Flying J, Barant, the Agricultural, Professional Agriculture, wow, EFS, whatever that is. Hold on, I'm going to have to take a closer look at this. Oh, something USA Inc. Um, yeah. So, we have C-Post. Come on. We have Exalta. Thank you, Bill Davis. We have a wind sticker from Daytona. We have Safety Clean Freightline. I don't know what that third one is. And SEM. 
on the back we have pilot flying j free baby roof offer in app Ooh, i didn't know that well there's no pilot flying jays around me and that's more of a truck stop uh, am i wrong in that it's mainly it's mainly a truck stop specifically more than a rest stop more your traditional and you have uh racing electronics bosch and mac tools on deck lid pilot flying j free baby ruth offer in app and nothing on the roof so anyway those are your six new releases for the week uh, as far as NASCAR 164s, there are no new releases next week, but there should still be a video out because some NHRA cars are coming in. So if you're interested in that, I will uh, make a video on that. Because they're NHRA and not NASCAR, I'm still contemplating, because there's, there's a total of three of them. I'm still contemplating if I should add something in there, because I do have some 124s that I've been getting that are kind of piling up at this point. So, um, yeah, uh, you know what? I might throw throw a 124 in there at least uh, just to get, <laughs> you know, more views. Not that NHRA viewers won't watch it, but, you know, obviously the NASCAR fan base for these videos at least is more established and larger. So, anyway, look out for that. As I said, even if you're not interested in NHRA, because I might... Still have some NASCAR stuff to show off. Just not new releases, but still stuff. But anyway, that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all later.